that it, it's not true. It's not true. God is right now calling a first fruit. He's not calling everybody to repentance at this time. You know, another reason why I don't believe God is calling everyone to repentance right now is that I know God is big. You know, most people, God is too small. Most people worship a God that is too small. And what I mean by that is God's best effort at bringing people to repentance comes from television evangelists. You know, most television evangelists don't even preach repentance. They, they teach a prosperity gospel, and repentance is never mentioned. A lot of them have a no-law theology, which makes it impossible. You know, the law's been abolished, been nailed to the cross, been fulfilled, which makes it impossible for a person to even bring them to repentance, because that's the purpose of the law, to bring people to repentance. It is the, by the law, I realize, I'm breaking God's law, God's morality, standard of morality. You know, And so if there is no law, well, you can't get a ticket for running a stop sign if there is no stop sign. Where there is no law, there is no transgression. So, you know, I mean, repentance is not even taught. It's not even taught. You know, so that's another reason I don't believe God is calling everybody to repentance right now. Because I don't believe God's best effort at saving, at bringing people to repentance comes through television evangelists. Now listen, I know better. I understand that God is only calling a first fruit right now. And that is the reason a lot of people don't respond to the message. And look, you can talk until you're blue in the face. And if God is not calling them, they're not going to respond to you. Okay? Now, in Job 14, verse 14, it says this. It says, If a man dies, shall he live again? All the days of my appointed time will I wait till I, my change come. You shall call, and I will answer thee. You will have a desire to the work of your hands. You know, Job looked at himself as an unfinished work. And there's a lot of people that you know that fit into this category. There's a lot of people that... Are, are good people, but they don't really care about religion whatsoever. But they're good people. And they are in unfinished work. God is not through with them yet. And, and Job, I mean, let's read it again. Okay, if a man dies, shall he live again? All the days of my appointed time will I wait till my change come. You will call, and I will answer you. You will have a desire to the works of your hand. You know, God doesn't give up on people so easily. And just because they pass away in death, God hadn't given up on his people. And just because they die, you know, in their sins, God has not given up on his people. Revelation 20 and verse 5 says this. It says, but the rest of the dead live not again until the thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is he that has part in the first resurrection. On such, the second death has no power but they shall be priests of God and of Christ and shall reign with him a thousand years. So that's the, that's the 25% that I talked about. That's the first fruits that come up in the first resurrection. But then there's, a much, there's, a, there's a, another resurrection, the second resurrection, where a great harvest is going to take place. Feast of ingathering. Yes, 